Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBB Nerds video series on bit manipulation interview question series and this is question number 2. So, what is this question? We have find only set bit in an integer number. So, if your number is 2, then the binary representation if we consider 3 bits, then this is the binary representation, right? And if we consider 3, then in that case we have 0, double, 1. So, we have to find like how many times you have to count from right hand side to find the first bit I mean first set bit so this is your first set bit for 3 so you will write an answer like 1 you found in the first place itself here your first set bit is at second place you will return 2 in that case if it is 4 then this is 4 one double zero. then you will return sorry 3 because this is at third location right and let me tell you if it is 5 which is like 101 one, then you will return minus 1 yeah I'll tell you why because we have two set bits so the question is you should have and yeah in this case also you will return minus 1 not 1 okay I just forgot that so the question is you have to return the first set bit and there should not be any set bit after that and you know with what numbers it is possible it's possible only with 1 2 4 8 16 right so basically 2 to the power n where you can put any number in this I mean it should be positive an integer <laughs> it should not be float but I think you got the question right like we have n so this is your n and you just have to return in this n where is the first set bit from right hand side that's it let's see how we'll do that so there you go we have this function find position for this n let's suppose we are looking for 4 so for 4 we have 1 double 0 okay so answer should be we should return 3 because this is at third position and after that we have so many zeros here okay so don't worry about that so if you look at this this is the key n is right shifted one time you should know what is the right shift if you have this for simplicity I'll just take this and if you right shift then this would look like this 0 0 1 okay and if you right shift one more time then it's like 0 0 0 this bit is actually gone this is discarded so this was also discarded but this was 0 but here if this one is discarded the result itself becomes 0 so you have 0 now because series of zeros in bits are actually zero in the integer so that's why you have to right shift this so you right shift one time it would look like this right shift second time it would look like this and right shift third time but actually we don't have to right shift third time we'll do that but before that now see this is at the first position right so the whole idea is let's bring this guy to the first position by doing right shift so see I'm doing this in the loop saying that dude keep doing this right shift and keep checking after doing this right shift that is the first bit from the right this is the first bit right so if this is this first bit and is it set so if you do this n and operation with one then this is what you have in the beginning right so this is what is there in the if condition we have this and so the result is 0 0 0 so basically you will not go inside this and you will not break this loop so 0 0 meaning this is false so you will go down and just simply increment this I mean right shifted by 1 so this guy would get right shifted by 1 so this case it is going to be like 1 0 sorry 0 1 0 and similarly we are going to do this 0 0 1 and again doing and you got this 0 0 0 so again we did not reach I mean we did not found this one at this location so you have to do this right shift again one more time okay so if you will do this one more time this is going to be 0 0 1 and you are doing and with 1 so this one is 0 0 1 and then answer would be 0 0 1 now this if condition is getting true and then you will make n is equal to n right shift one more time so that this guy would become 
zero then only and you will break it you don't have to go it further like if you have a zero one one zero one zero one zero and if you right shift this guy would come here and once you found this you don't have to find that whether is there any other one or not you just break it and do one more right shift so that the point is if there was only one then if you are at this stage then right shifting would result into zero 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 only right so that's what we are doing one more right shift and assuming if there was only one set bit after doing this it would become zero that's why we are checking here if this is zero then only return count otherwise return minus one that's the whole point this break will actually allow you i mean to stop you going further because you have already found one in the rightmost position and if there are further subsequent ones available it means your n won't be zero right after this right shift one more right shift so that's the whole point easy right so once you know bit manipulations it's like crazy stuff and you won't believe you can achieve so much with this bit manipulation it's just that we don't know much but don't worry i'll be there to teach you everything almost <laughs> so keep watching keep learning thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos